Welcome to chapter 2 of our story. In this chapter, we find ourselves in a village bathed in the golden light of the setting sun. The air is filled with the rich scent of copal incense, curling upwards like whispers from the past. Sochil, a young girl, kneels beside her grandmother, Abuela Elena, as they weave marigold petals into a vibrant tapestry for the altar. This is a time of preparation for the Day of the Dead, a festival that holds deep meaning for their family. Abuela Elena, with her silver hair shining like moonlight, shares stories of their ancestors, her voice soothing and wise. Join us as we delve into this chapter, exploring the bonds of family, the weight of legacy, and the courage to face one's fears. The sun hung low in the sky, casting a golden hue over the village. Sochil knelt beside Abuela Elena, their fingers deftly weaving marigold petals into a vibrant tapestry for the altar. The air was thick with the scent of copal incense, curling upwards like the whispers of the ancestors they sought to honor. Sochil's heart swelled with a mix of excitement and trepidation. The day of the dead was approaching, and with it, the weight of her family's legacy pressed heavily upon her young shoulders. Abuela Elena, with her silver hair glinting like moonlight, shared stories of their ancestors, her voice a soothing balm against the chaos that had recently erupted in the village. Each petal, mi corita, is a bridge to the spirits. They guide us, protect us, and remind us of our roots, she said, her warm brown eyes sparkling with wisdom. Sochil listened intently, absorbing every word, feeling the threads of her identity weaving tighter around her. Yet, the shadow of La Llorona loomed large, a specter of fear that had begun to seep into the hearts of the villagers. As they prepared for the festival, whispers of the spirit's chaos echoed through the streets, unsettling the vibrant atmosphere. Sochil felt a knot of anxiety twist in her stomach. How could she honor her ancestors when a malevolent spirit threatened to unravel everything? Abuela, what if La Llorona comes for us? Sochil's voice trembled, the weight of her fear palpable in the air. Abuela Elena paused, her hands stilling as she regarded her granddaughter with a mixture of compassion and resolve. Fear is a powerful force, but it can also be a teacher. You must learn to embrace your gifts, Sochil. Only then can you confront the darkness. As they continued their preparations, Sochil's mind raced with thoughts of the spirit. She felt torn between the desire to help her village and the paralyzing fear that gripped her heart. The stories of Lalo Rona, a woman lost to grief, echoed in her mind, intertwining with her own burgeoning abilities. Could she truly face such a spirit? The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows that danced like spirits across the ground. Sochul and Abuela Elena lit candles, their flickering flames illuminating the altar, casting a warm glow that felt like a protective embrace. In that moment, Sochul felt a surge of determination. She would not let fear dictate her actions. With her grandmother's teachings echoing in her heart, she resolved to confront the chaos that threatened her village. As the night deepened, the atmosphere shifted, a palpable tension hanging in the air. The villagers gathered, their laughter mingling with the distant sound of music, but Sochil could sense the undercurrent of unease. La Llorona's presence was a dark cloud on the horizon, and Sochil knew that the time for confrontation was drawing near. Empowered by Abuela Elena's wisdom, she felt the stirrings of courage within her, ready to face whatever lay ahead. The bond between grandmother and granddaughter deepened, a shared understanding of the weight they both carried. Together, they would honor the past and confront the shadows that threatened their future.